Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how we can download Eclipse to our system. So to download Eclipse, we'll visit this link that is uh, HTTP Eclipse Oracle slash download section. Or we have the second process also available in the next step. You can go to this download sections, click on this download and again, download the Eclipse from here. Or you can do the next thing is just go directly straight away move to this section uh, this link where you will have the download option available so straight directly move to this link here open this link and here you have this download option so it's like you can go through step by steps or straight away you can come to the download page once you are into the download page click on the download button and you'll see this eclipse will get downloaded in your system so you see the eclipse is getting downloaded so once the eclipse is downloaded in your system, then you have to add the JDKs to your Eclipse while installing. So once the JDK, uh, once the Eclipse is installed or once Eclipse is downloaded, then at the time of installing, by default, you will have the JDKs added. So we'll wait for this Eclipse to get installed. It will take some time and once it's downloaded, then we will install. So let's wait for a minute. Now the Eclipse is downloaded in our system. So again, I'll move to this folder where the Eclipse is. Double click here. And now it will ask for the options to allow me to install. So here the Eclipse installer is opening. So based on the steps, now you see once downloaded, double click on Eclipse and select Eclipse ID for Java developer option. So here we'll get an option that is Eclipse ID for Java developer. I click here and you see by default, this JDK path is fetched from our system. So this at this location, the JDK is available. That means JDK 11 is getting fetched from the location itself. Now I'll click the install button. And once the install button is clicked, accept the agreements. And now the Eclipse is getting installed. So once the Eclipse gets installed, we will have the launch button and then we will launch the Eclipse. And later we'll see how the Eclipse setup is fully done and how I'll run a class and show you that the Eclipse is fully up and running. So now it's taking time to install. Once the installation is done, we'll have the launch button. So once it will launch, then we can use Eclipse straight away. Now, once the installing is done, the installing button will change to launch. So I'll click on this launch and the Eclipse IDE will launch here. So once the Eclipse IDE is open, it asks for the workspace. I click on the launch button and the Eclipse workspace, the complete platform will open. So here in this Eclipse platform, we'll see whether our Eclipse is working properly. So for this, we'll create a project. We will run a program and see whether it's working fine or not. So when you open the screen here, you get the welcome tab. Close this welcome tab. Now we'll see how we can run a Java program. So here, first to run a Java program, we have to create a project and then run a Java program. To create a project, go to the file option, click on new and move to the Java project options. So I'll do the same. I'll go to file. From file, I'll move to new. And from new, I'll go to this Java project options. So once I'm here, then name the project and click the finish button. So right now, I'll name the project as training. Training. Project. And straight away, I'll click the finish button. So now it's asking whether you want to add the module info.java. So here, always remember, click on Don't Create button. So once this is done, you see uh, the training project is available here. So once the, the project is created, then in left corner, click on the arrow button. So this is the arrow button that I'll click on. And here, once we click on the arrow button, we'll go to this SRC. So in this SRC, we'll create a package. So right click on SRC, go to the new option, select package from the option and name the package. So I'll go to this SRC, right click here, go to new, from new, I'll move to the package option and name the package here. So right now I'll name the 
package as Java package. And again, I'll click the finish button. So you see the package is also created here. So once the package is created, right click on the package, go to new and select the class option. So this is the package, right click here, go to new, select the class option. Now here I'll name the class. So I'll name the class as test. Now name the class and from which method stub would you like to create se section, click on public static void mode main. So in which method stub would you like to create from this section, I will select this public static void main section but uh, I'll select this option, click on finish. And once I do this, you see a class is created with all these steps. So now here it says, now click finish option. Once the class is created in main method, write a print line that is this. So I'll copy the print line from here and I'll paste the same print line inside the main method that is at line number seven. I paste it here, press control S and save this. After saving, to run the code, go to the green button on the top and run the code. The output gets printed in the console window. So this is the green button on top. Click on this green button and you see in the console window, the message is printed, my first code, the message that I've written inside the print line. This shows the complete setup is done and my Eclipse is up and running. So that's all in this video. Thank you.